You're in a privileged hey, position to learn a thing or two. Keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. What's up? Right, I'm going to talk about another little topic. It might be controversial. I don't know. But a lot of you people might be, need to know this one that you probably didn't understand or it wasn't told shot off the bat. So I'm trying to give you a heads up. Top of this video is don't smokers prefer to be on welfare? Now, look where I'm going on this, so here we go. As part of the payroll tax cut compromise that Congress had between the Democrats and Republicans, you know, it had a little hidden benefit, if you will. You know, but, and, that, and part of that, for like, what they did is, well, first of all, they shortened your unemployment 99 weeks to 73, I think, either 73, anywhere between 75 and 72. I, you got to look that up. They also put in there state-authorized drug testing if you're on unemployment. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. If you're on unemployment, you better not be popping no pills. You better not be rolling that Dutchie without living in California or Arizona. You better not be snoring and you better not be smoking. Now, me personally, if I bust my hump and my unemployment is entitled to me, I think it's totally unfair that I receive my unemployment for something that I rightly deserved, and you want to drug test me, but here, here again, you won't drug test people on welfare. That's what kills me. Now, here's where you you fucking the you fucking the, like the middle class again. You're like you ain't technically fucking them. I put it like as you're being unfair to them. Like, I understand the drug testing. I have no problem. Me, personally, I can, I can pass with flying colors. I have no problem taking a drug test. But the point is, you ain't, you're giving away free money. Free. You're giving away free money. People don't have to do nothing but pop out some fucking kids. And you're giving away free money and not testing people. But some people who work for their money, you want to test them for it. And that's how I keep telling you people, that's how these politicians are. They, they, the middle class gets fucked every fucking time. The rich people have their little tax cuts. They have little programs, a little help, like anything. The rich can get special bills on anything. The poor, they just give them everything because it is what it is. They're poor. They ain't going to afford it. They get the votes. The middle class, how, how does this look that I'm on, if I was on unemployment, and I have to take a piss test, and I have, to, I have to drop at the unemployment office, but I see somebody going to the welfare office, and they're coming out with fucking, you know, happy happy days are here again. It's, it's not right. It's not fair. You know, education reform. You know, they want to do this, you know, oh, my fault, this is another video. I'm, no, the, GOP, the GOP, you know, they flubbed this one. Now I'm talking about, you know, that gradual reduction, the max number of weeks either. They flubbed it on the drug testing. If you want a drug test, I'm all cool with that. But if you're going to drug test, you ain't going to test people on welfare. Some people ain't, like, some people ain't the, like the sharpest knives in the shed. I mean, you know, the GOP also did an about face. You know, the only reason the GOP didn't about face on this one, they're saving their asses, they're covering their ass. They knew if they held out on this one, they would look bad when they go get reelected. So let's not think the GOP is doing us any favors. And the Democrats ain't really doing any favors. They didn't put no, they didn't put no feats on necks on this one. So I'm done talking about it, but like I said, it's totally unfair that if I'm getting unemployment, I got to take a drop. But like somebody on welfare, they don't get a job, but they you know they do what they have to do. So I'm out of here. Later, peace.